the weather's warming up, it's April, it's time to catch giant bass. I'm gonna share with you three baits that you can utilize to help you catch a lot of big bass in April. Shane Flint Outdoors brought to you by Omnia Fishing. Experience the most personalized tackle shopping on earth. And MMA Fishing, fight the bite. Also by Bent Rod Fishing. Get bent, stay bent. Hey everybody, the water is warming up. It is April and as it means here in Virginia and across a lot of the United States, it's the time of year we catch a lot of big bass. So I thought today I would share with you three baits that I think that will help you catch some big bass this spring. And I'll tell you, they're already tied onto my, uh, my rods and I'm gonna be fishing with them throughout the spring. So let me just jump right into it. The first bait that I'm gonna recommend this spring, you don't see me fishing with a lot, but I have a feeling you're gonna see some big fish caught on it this spring, and that is the good old mag draft. Now I've got this in a six inch right here. Uh, you can get this in eight and 10 inch as well. I've got both sides, all the sizes in my boat. I've been fishing with the six inch. Uh, I like it in this ghost color, shad color, really matches the bait around here really well. When you fish this in that three to five foot, two foot water, even deeper, six to eight foot of water, when the, before the bass start to get up there and make beds, and they're still feeding up, and they see this big bait profile with that paddle tail swimming around, they will hammer it. So this is a great bait to fish prior to those bass getting onto the nest um, and can't give you the opportunity to get a big bass jumping on this. And fish it whatever size that you'd like, but I think the mag draft will help you catch some big bass this spring, um, especially just prior to them uh, moving in and getting on the beds. It's a good time to fish that. Um, I, I fish this on a medium heavy action rod. This is my MMA pedigree, a seven foot four with 16 pound fluorocarbon. You may want to get a little bit heavier line um, if you're fishing a lot of uh, stumps and things like that, but uh, works out for me on a medium heavy with 16 pound test line. Now the second bait I'm going to talk to you about, I'm going to tell you the, the same bait, but in two different colors. And that's the good old swim bait. Now this is a swim bait I've got set up in a swim bait shad style. Uh, it's white and silver and I got a green and silver um, e Kitech Easy Shiner as a trailer. Any type of paddle tail trailer will work, but this is to mimic bait fish. Now, just yesterday I was out on a lake, and in like 10 minutes, I put three five pounders in the boat on this. Unfortunately, my GoPro wasn't working, so you don't get to see that on the episode, but just hammered some good fish on it yesterday, and they're still in that eight to 10 foot range, but you can fish it so versatile. You can fish the shallow, you can fish it deep, fish it fast, you can fish it slow, and the bass just seem to hammer it in April. Um, so I'd highly recommend getting some type of bait fish color match the hatch of your lake um, to throw this uh, swim jig around. Now the second color that I'm going to tell you is almost, this one's almost a must um, for me. And I have to keep a green pumpkin, actually this is more of a bluegill color, but it's primarily a green pumpkin. A green pumpkin jig with a long trailer. Now this trailer is a missile bait destroyer and you see it's got two long curly tails and these appendages. And it looks like a lizard. Now this is the missile bait destroyer, uh, missile baits destroyer. Um, but I throw this in when I see a nest, where I see a bass spawning or potentially spawning, I flip this jig in there where that bass is at and they will hammer it. Primarily because they don't like this lizard creature looking bait around where they're laying eggs. And it gives you an opportunity. They'll pick it, sometimes they'll just pick it up and move it. But they're gonna bit it in their mouth. It gives you an opportunity to get a big hookup with a big bass when they're out there spawning. So definitely highly recommend getting this in a green pumpkin. Now, depending on the color of your lake, the water, you know, you might want to have some different colors. This is a good color for clear to, you know, semi-clear uh, water here in Virginia. So definitely have this green pumpkin with some type of lizard creature bait looking um, thing that the bass are going to want to move out of the way and get it off their bed. So that this in green pumpkin and then there's some type of bait fish color is a great bait to have tied on uh, this time of year. Now the last bait that I have here, I caught a lot of fish on last year and that is the Zoom trick worm. Now I have it tied on right now, it's in green pumpkin and red flake and I've got a wacky style, I have a nail weight in there. Um, I probably caught over a hundred bass in two or three days um, on this bait. Um, and I caught it both Texas rig and wacky style uh, weighted and unweighted, sometimes just float it up there and let it naturally sink down. But 
when the bass were starting to get on the nest, this was, I probably, no kidding, caught, you know, 40 to 50, three to five pounders on this last year. It was just amazing. They just seemed to jump on it when they started getting up in there uh, and in the shallows and starting to spawn. Now, I didn't catch them all on this green with red fleck, green pumpkin with red fleck. The other color I did really well on and highly recommend it is this color called methylate. So the Zoom Trick Worm, I keep it, I got several different colors, but methylate seemed to be another color that they just hammered last year when they wouldn't hit this green pumpkin. Now, depending on the color of water, you might want to have something else. Like I do carry a, a pink or a bubblegum color as a third color in case the water gets all dirty. Pink seems to be another good color they like to hammer when it's uh, murky water as well. So definitely have one of these tied on. It's going to help you catch a lot of fish, maybe even a big bass um, this, this April. So hey folks, that's three baits that I'm recommending for you. I'm sure there's a lot of other baits that you've got tied on, but these three may help you catch a giant bass this spring. I hope you do. I hope you catch your PB, and I hope it is a great April of fishing for you. And until next time, folks, tight lines and good luck fishing.